Well, what's up everyone? My name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, in partnership with the guys at TLR Esports, we are taking a look at the Antlion Audio Mod Mic Wireless. Now, Antlion are a company that's been around for a little bit of time now. They had a previous Mod Mic, a wired version. What we have here is their new and up-to-date Mod Mic Wireless. So, let's get into it and what you actually get. So, the Mod Mic Wireless is effective. Well, it's exactly what it says. It is a microphone, a wireless one, for your headset. So in the box, when you open up, you do get a nice little travel case where your mod mic and the little dongle that you get will sit. So as I said, you do get a microphone, you do get a dongle, you get a USB extension cable. This is meant so that you can plug your dongle in and not actually have it hanging out the back of your PC so that it's not gonna get knocked off or anything like that and you do get a micro USB charging cable. You also then get a little packet of goodies, which include a little stick-on cable holder. This is to hold your USB cable and keep it clipped out of the way so that it doesn't go walking around. You actually get two of these. Now these are the little widgets that the microphone it clips to. I already have one attached to my headset. As well as two of these, you do get two extra sticky pads and you get a single alcohol prep wipe which is for wiping down your headset before you stick on. Unfortunately, you do only get the one of those. And last but not least, an instruction manual. But it is incredibly easy and I read the instruction manual after I actually plugged it in and turned it on because it is that simple. So. Let's take a look at the actual mod mic itself. Now, the mod mic, it's your sort of like adapter here, okay? So this is where all the magic happens. Power button, on button, do everything button. You've then got about six inches or 150 mil or 15 centimeters of flexible boom with the microphone on the end. The microphone does have a little pop filter on it. Got the Antlion logo on it, and you do have a little switch here, which we will get to a little bit later on. The other part is, of course, the dongle, simple USB 2 adapter, three indicator lights, and there is a button on this as well for pairing. So when you get your Antlion mod mic, the first thing you're going to do, get your gaming headphones. I've actually got a set of AKG studio headphones here, and you're going to decide, first of all, which side you want to stick them. So I unfortunately have one choice and one choice only because the cable comes out on this side so this is not flat. You want a nice flat surface on the right there and wipe it down with an alcohol prep wipe. I used a separate one rather than the one included so that I could show you it. it does actually come with one. And then you simply press that on and stick it on. It is as simple as that. When you choose where to stick it on, what you do want to do is have it stuck on so that it sits down okay so it's like slightly angled down because obviously this is a, at your ear height your mouth is lower than your ear so you do want that angled ever so slightly down also make sure that it will reach your mouth because there's no point in sticking it right the way back here and then it won't reach you at all so once you've got that stuck on it is simply a case of then just like this is just two magnets and it will rotate out of the way so when you're not using it but you aren't taking your headphones off for example you can just rotate it up out of the way so it does rotate it rotates in 90 degree increments um, it would have been nice to have maybe had a bit of a finer adjustment on it so that if you didn't get it quite lined up perfectly you could have adjusted that but it is a good strong system like yeah it doesn't fall off this is actually i believe a updated version because there was actually a little card in the box that does say if you have an older one please remove it and uh, fit it with the new one because the magnets are stronger so installation relatively simple plug that into your computer plug that into here you plug that in quick press of the mod mic button and it will sit there and flash a couple of times um, I don't have this plugged in but basically that will go solid blue and that is it paired it is that simple now, obviously, this will is wireless and therefore will need charging. To charge it, you use the included micro USB cable and it just plugs it into the bottom. Now, one of the reasons Antline actually recommend plugging this into 
the right hand part of your headphones is that then the micro USB cable is charging and coming down so you can still charge and use it at the same time. So there's literally a single button on these and when you initially turn this thing on, let's just turn it off. Let's turn it off. So when you plug it in, you'll plug your dongle in and you'll plug this in. This will sit there flashing blue and you turn this on and then they will both have a solid blue light. If you then quick press that amplifying button again, it will mute the microphone. Quick press it again to unmute. Press and hold it for two seconds to turn it off. So literally just a relatively long, long press and let go and it will then turn off. If you plug it in to charge it, there is actually a third indicator that is yellow. The yellow one indicates charging, the red one indicates the mute, and the blue one will indicate that it is connected. Solid blue light connecting, slow blue light waiting to connect to this, and a fast one is pairing mode. And you do get corresponding light on this, so if you can't necessarily see this, but you put that ever so slightly in your field of vision, you will actually be able to see your red mute button or your orange charging light because it does replicate it. Nice little feature. So that's pretty much it for using it. It's really, really simple. There's just a single button on each. It comes ready paired, so initially you don't have to worry about long press and hold to get it to pair. It does come with instructions, but like I said, you really didn't need them. Um, so the only other option you do have on this thing, on the microphone by here, you have a switch. Now the switch allows it to change from an omnidirectional to a single directional microphone. So basically you can either have it as omnidirectional everywhere or single directional just at your mouth. So it effectively turns off the back side of the microphone. Um, as an in-game chat microphone, pretty much you're going to have it set to that option, which is having it slid up towards the end of the microphone. That will then get rid of any or as much of the sounds in front of your microphone as possible, focusing purely on your voice. Speaking of voice, audio quality, at the end of the day, the most important thing about a microphone is its audio quality. It doesn't matter how easy it is to use or how well it's made if it sounds horrendous. So it is time to pick up a little audio clip. So here we have a quick microphone test of the Antlion Mod Mic Wireless. Let's see what you all think of it. So there we go guys, quick little audio clip. And as you can hear, that is an incredibly crisp sounding microphone. Really impressed with it. But then again, it isn't cheap. So yeah, you should hope it sounds good for the money. Um, speaking of money, this thing does come in at like 105 pounds. That's a lot of money for a microphone, especially one that is not like, I've got like a, a big AKG microphone over there. Um, that's about the same price as this. But the I must admit the audio quality on this was incredibly impressive, especially for something so small, so portable. And if you are heavily into, for example, you're streaming and you don't have the space for a boom arm and a microphone, something like that, possibly a good, good replacement. So overall, yeah, it's nice and easy to use. It comes with a good amount of accessories. It's got a nice little travel box so that if you go off to lands or if you go traveling, take a gaming laptop with you and you want to do some, some game chat and things like that, yeah, it will cover all of your bases. The only downside to this, in fact, there's two. Now, I'm using AKG headphones and I don't know why, but the moment I put this on here and turn it on, on the right one only, only on the side that it is attached, I get an ever, if, everything, if it's, everything else is off, so it's silent, I get an ever such a slight buzz from the right side headphone. I don't know why. Um, if I turn this off, I don't get it. If I have it attached but not turned on, I don't get it. If I literally just do anything else with it, I don't get it. The moment those two are combined, like I said, the moment you put a bit of volume on, you don't hear anything. So it hasn't bothered me in the slightest, really, because if I've got these on, they're making noise. Um, but yeah, it does make a slight hum. Um, new one to me, it's obviously electrical interference. These headphones are getting on a bit. If I was to test them, I will have to try and get some other headphones at some point and test them. It, obviously, these don't have uh, like shielding in them or anything like that. These are just good sound quality headphones. So yeah, 
apart from that, the only other problem is the price. But then, realistically, if you're spending £105 on a microphone, you're also going to be attaching to a decent set of headphones. So, yeah, it, price, the, the target audience of these are somebody that has spent probably a good 150 maybe 200 pounds on a set of headphones you're not going to be putting these on your 20 pound ebay jobbies these are designed to go on a serious set of headphones so apart from the price being a little bit steep obviously it's a niche product they're going to be relatively low volume producing so they're not going to be cheap for them to make so yeah i understand where the money's got and it does sound good it sounds better than any other headset microphone i've ever tested and i've tested a good few now um including ones that including headsets that cost as much as this so i haven't tested any headsets that cost more than this i haven't tested any 200 pound headsets uh, but i have tested like 100 pound headsets and the microphone on its own this one here does blow them out of the water um it sounds as good as a, a relatively say a cheaper option condenser microphone on a boom arm and things like that so yeah sound quality was great um, so if you are in the market for a microphone to go with your headset and you've got some money to spend and you don't want to have to have a boom arm and things like that in the way because this will give you a decent microphone that is not in the way um, i will be using this on my racing rig that's soon to be going in that corner um, yes these are a great option the fact there's only two options the mod mic wireless and the mod mic wired so if you've got a nice set of headphones and Maybe even a wireless set, like uh, I know Sennheiser do some really good wireless headphones. This could be an option for you if you want to go completely wireless. Obviously, if you've got to have a cable dangling out of your headphones, maybe the wired version might be a better option anyway. Because if you've got to have one cable, the wired one comes with clips. Having an extra cable clipped to that doesn't make much of a difference. But if you've got decent wireless headphones, yeah. Um, so there we go, guys. That is pretty much it for the Antlion Mod Mic Wireless. It's a slightly pricey but great quality product producing great audio. I'm going to give it a thumbs up and uh, as always I will put some links down below as to where you can buy one. If you've liked this video give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down not a problem. Any comments, questions, suggestions leave them down below. I try and take the time to go through them all and if you want to see more of me click that little subscribe button. Thank you very much everyone. Bye for now.